All right, guys, Touch Grab here, and with Ranked Play releasing tonight, we at Breaking Point have compiled the best pro class setups for you guys to use. Not just what the pros are currently using, but also how to make their classes even better for your respective role. Hit the like button if you enjoy, and subscribe for even more great competitive COD content. I like them big. I like them chunky. With most builds for this weapon, the common trend among class setups will be the Tundra Pro Barrel and the High Velocity Ammunition. These are vital to extending the three-shot kill range of around 27 to 35 meters, in addition to having more consistent hit reg with the hit scan feel of the high velocity ammo. The other slots are where you can experiment more with the muzzle and stocks, but before we go into that, here are the two main classes the pros are currently using for the combined flex or AR role. The difference being the stocks. The TV X-Line helps ADS speed at the cost of recoil control, compared to the TV Cardinal assisting in strafe speed. For those who struggle with recoil control and gun kick, we can remove the demo clean shots for one of three muzzles. Komodo Heavy, the X-10 Ported, and the Sakin Tread 40. These three muzzles are the best in the game for their respective variety of recoil properties. The Sakin Tread is the overall best muzzle for the joint benefit of vertical and horizontal recoil control, the Komodo Heavy is great to eliminate most of the horizontal recoil, and the x Ported goes the opposite way, assisting mostly on the vertical side. All of these muzzles are great for more ranged battles, but at a 40 millisecond ADS penalty, and with the removal of the demo clean chop pistol grip, the quick draw stippled grip of the SCAR, you'll need to adjust your playstyle accordingly to a more pre-aim heavy or anchor setup. I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. No need for an introduction for the Vaznev 9K. Everyone knows how elite this weapon is right now, especially with all the clips we have seen from the pros. There's only one build for this weapon and it goes as follows. The Bruin Pendulum, the best muzzle for the SMGs, the same properties as the Sakin Tread 40 we just discussed. The Shark Fin, helps aim stability during both gunfight and idle pre-aiming. The True Tack Grip, the stippled or quick draw pistol grip attachment for this weapon and the Octrazat stock for your strafe speed. The only variation we might suggest is to add the Kaz-1 barrel to assist in damage range and bullet velocity with a four shot kill range extending to around 25 meters. If you do choose this barrel, we recommend its use only in search and destroy or if you struggle with the Vaznevid range. It does hurt your ADS and hipfire spread and as tuning is technically gentlemen's agreemented by the pros, you can't really bail yourself out by min-maxing ADS speed on the other attachments to adjust the deficit. Although nobody really is going to check. <laughs> yeah boy. The X-12 is the go-to meta pistol for Modern Warfare 2 with its great ADS speed and lack of recoil. Just a shame we won't get to see the Deagle in COD this year. What? Wow. What? Shroud is different. Dude. Shroud is Shroud. What? Whoa! What? what? The hell was that? What? The build contains only two attachments. The Cronin Lima 6, a unique quick draw grip for the pistol, gives you the ability to swap to the pistol much faster in a tactical way. And the XRK Venta, a recoil muzzle to combat the control deficit of the Lima grip. The strength of this gun is capped, however, due to the fire rate trigger being GA'd, gentlemen's agreement it by the pros. But as we know how ranked play goes, we presume people will use the XRK lightning fire fire rate trigger without necessarily knowing the rules, so this might end up being the standard in this mode. So we might suggest adding this to your pistol until Treyarch updates the rulings. Another CDL year where snipers are still marred by controversy, but luckily enough, we still get to see them this year. But of course, there's a catch. The CDL pros have allowed only one sniper in Search and Destroy with no attachments allowed. So if you want to follow this GA, use the LAB or the SPX sniper rifle as they are the best with no attachments. SPX is better for your ADS speed, the LAB for the damage. But with it being ranked, it's likely this GA will indeed be broken, especially because these snipers have a 600 plus millisecond ADS speed. So here are the three class setups we have to maximize bullet velocity and ADS speeds for the sniper rifle category. The MCPR. The stock, rear grip and magazine all assist in your ADS speed. The Cronin smooth bolt can be an on or off choice for rechambering speed to get those follow up shots off quicker. We also want to add the high velocity ammo type to increase bullet velocity for ranged snipes. 
This setup can follow suit for the LAB and SPX, with the only difference being they don't have a magazine attachment that assists in ADS speed like the MCPR does. Modern Warfare 2 for Competitive has a very simple outline for its utility and perks. Let's dive into utility first. For lethal grenades, the only two you'll be using are the frags or the semtexes. Frags are mainly used in search and destroy and by the sniper and the AR players on your teams, as they'll usually be slower in their role for the match while lining up nade and banking spots, the critical advantage of the frag grenades. <laughs> The Semtex though is definitely preferred in respawns, hardpoint and control by pretty much every single player, as it helps keep up the pace you require to be successful. Flashbangs and smoke grenades are banned, leaving stuns as the only tactical equipment for this season. Let's talk perks. The combinations of these perks are usually double time and bomb squad, as we want to stick to the fast pace of this game and limit our deaths from grenade spam. A change in first perk combinations can be used for AR players with Battle Hardened and Bomb Squad, as you'll be pre-aiming a lot more and holding lanes more than your SMG counterparts. These utility counterperks are a great addition for a slower AR role. For perk 2, now known as the bonus perk, we have one main option, with the other two being used situationally. Fast hands is a must for 90% of the time you play competitive COD. The need to fasten the reload, weapon swaps and utility throwing is very beneficial this year due to the slower animations. Focus is only necessary for the snipers to get rid of the flinch, very effective to get those first bloods. And lastly, Cold Blooded, the emergency perk which will be used on more exposed outdoor maps to remove yourself from the HUD when a cruise missile is inbound. Thermals are banned, so that is really the only other use of this perk. And there you have it, the best CDL classes on offer right now. We're going to try and keep this updated over time as the meta changes and potentially new gentlemen's agreements come into effect. So stay tuned for that one. And if you don't want to miss it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we will see you next time.